What's up, people? So, the new update just dropped. And I'm going to pretty much try to summarize it as fast as possible. So, to go to World 2, there's going to be a big ring here. And basically, when you go to the normal spawn, the old one, you go inside the ring. They're going to make you complete a bare bones challenge. It's pretty easy. Uh, yeah. Just complete it. You're going to need a money unit. And yeah, it was simple enough. There's going to be these caverns here. Now, each cavern drops a certain element. And depending on the difficulty, you get more of the element. So it'll say dark units deal 300% more damage. So you want to make sure you have dark units. If you go to your units, they all changed. Some have elements that says neutral, neutral, dark. So, you know. Dark, light, light, you know? That's pretty simple. What the elements are going to be used for is for evoing the new units that are coming out. Basically, this one dropped from the tower capsule. And he's evoed now. It's not hard to get him. All you have to do to, uh, is go to the raid shop to evo him. Uh, there's Kakashi that dropped. Let me show you. Kakashi. Oh yeah, there's also this unit. If you go to the evos, you could see exactly what you need. He drops in basically uh, Hollow Act 6 from World 1. So you have to do hollow AFK that one, hollow F X6. And as you can see, when you hover over the unit, it shows the damage, shows if they're hybrid, and it obviously shows a bunch of info now. That's pretty cool. Let's also look at uh, this dude. You go to Evolve, it shows you he's a fire unit. That's his damage. He's a ground unit. Just because he's ground at the beginning doesn't mean he won't change when you evo him. This is his axe. You need the fire stuff. So you just have to go to according, you know, you have to go to whichever one you need to do. Don't do purgatory because it's pretty hard. Like I tried it. It was, I don't know. We didn't, we failed like two times, but maybe try it alone. I don't know if you have a full team of glitched everyone. Yeah, probably going to be, I don't even know if it's possible then. But just check it out. So there's also these new stories in World 2. And it shows what they drop. Which is pretty cool. You know, it shows the drop rate. Now if you want the uh, Wraith Dragon. That's going to be for this dude. If you want the dagger, you have to do X5. It shows you the drop rate and everything, which is pretty cool. I think that's a W. Purgatory doesn't give you more. It's actually the same drops for no matter what. So just do normal. There's no point in doing anything else. Aizen drops from Act 6. You can see Hollow Robe. I think that's for him. Aizen, yeah. And this is for uh, the homie, the other homie. And there's the Fire Force mission. So Act uh, 4, 5, and 6 drop this. As you could see, it doesn't really increase the chance. It just gives you more like XP and stuff. Why do Purgatory? Just for... Uh, Basically, your quests. As you can see, I'm doing quests and I'm gaining stuff. Gaining jewels, stuff like that. Firefighter's base, weekly, infinite, daily. They have all these quests here that you could complete to get more jewels. Now, if I go over here and go to the banner to summon... You can see there's a new ultimate banner. So there's an ultimate unit right here. 
And all you have to do is summon. It shows the rates. Seventh Division Captain. That's going to be the Fire Force, dude. Right? Yeah, that's sick. So, yeah. You could also summon from Banner 1 and 2 here if you need any units. Uh, the Epic, you could find uh, basically Escanor here. But, yeah. He's a 3% chance drop. Ultimate pity, damn. They actually have a pity for the ultimate. That is not bad. So it doesn't seem too hard to get ultimates anymore. They don't have any ultimate pity here, though. It is what it is. And yeah, let me show you how to craft the, the sword. It's basically not that expensive for the, the tower unit. Here it is. Cursed Machete. Not that hard to craft. Uh, when I opened uh, the capsule. Let's look at Kakashi. Where is he at? There was a shiny one somewhere. Oh, no. It's because he was exotic unit. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, as you can see, there's a shiny Kakashi. And there's this one. This one you can't put down for some reason. I don't know why. But we cannot place. He does quite a bit of damage there. That's not bad. But we're going to have to check it out to see what kind of damage he actually does. Either way. uh, Yeah. That's pretty much it about the update, you know? You just do uh, story missions to get the stuff, the EVO items. It shows you exactly what to do. There's also raids, I heard. I'm not sure how raids changed or if anything changed. Nah, you can still do Shinobi. You can still do Ninja. No new raids. I suggest you use your rerolls right now while there's 4x uh, weekend. But yeah, we're going to go for that ultimate unit. Shop, let's see if there's any new game passes right now, actually. That's not bad. 3x for that? And that's all you have to do. Just grind. Also, if you look in the description, there's a bunch of... Uh, Uh, codes that you could use. Damn. Look, you could get all the elements. 25 of each. You could pay that. But that's expensive. Holy shit. I just looked at the price. Nope. Run. Gold shop? Is there anything worth it? No. And what's this? Bundles. That's the same shit. Alright. But that's about it, yo. Look at... Pay attention to your units, uh... To their element and do raids when you want depending on which one you want i suggest you do uh normal unless you're doing i guess do nightmare if you can but literally if you're just afk just do normal straight up hope you guys enjoyed the video and that's about it now we gotta wait an extra minute for uh so we get one more ad no i'm just joking peace